mother accused of mutilating and dumping her son's body will have to come up with more money if she wants to get out of jail tonight. A judge raised Donna Scrivo's bond from $100,000 to $250,000 cash after finding out she didn't tell the truth about her finances. Meantime, police are building a case of premeditated murder against her. 7 Action News investigator Jim Kirstner found out how she tried to dump the car linked to the crime. Donna Scrivo is not charged with murder yet, but when she is and police are confident that will happen, it could be premeditated murder because of what they gathered here. The timeline and paper trail are likely more than coincidental. On Monday, January 27th, Donna Scrivo reports her son Ramsey missing. That same day, she donated a Ford Focus to Mother Waddle's car donation program. So I think there's a little bit more behind this story. She actually gave Mother Waddle's two cars. On Thursday afternoon, witnesses saw her tossing bags with body parts out the window of her blazer in St. Clair County. Chopper 7 shows the scene. Now look at the documents. At 5.05 p.m. that same day Thursday, she called Mother Waddles again to donate a Chevy Blazer. Their documents show this was a rush to be picked up after noon the next day. State records also show Donna Scrivo transferred the title from her late husband Daniel to herself that Friday morning. She knew the rush job, but obviously for a different reason because she knew people were looking for this trailblazer SUV. But to get that, they came to Mother Waddles with his search warrant and impounded both cars on Saturday, the day after Scrivo was arrested. This is a first for the car donation program in more than two decades. In order to help low income families that need transportation. Police are telling me it's going to be several more days before the toxicology is back that will help them establish whether Ramsey was poisoned or drugged. That's when they can get the murder charge. In Detroit, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.